My name is Humberto Madriñan, and I will be presenting in the 2021 IWBNC the e poster entitled Safe Withdrawal Period of Anticoagulant Therapy in Patients Requiring Surgical Drainage in Chronic Subdural Hematomas. Chronic subdural hematoma is a frequent pathology in the neurosurgical departments. More frequently now, neurosurgeons face the decision to treat a chronic subdural hematoma in patients actively anticoagulated. Therefore, evaluation of the treatment risks involve surgical rebleeding rates as well as cardioembolic and thromboembolic risks. There is a progressive increase in the use of anticoagulation therapy. They are related to an increased risk of rebleeding following treatment in chronic subdural hematomas. For example, vitamin K antagonists calculated risk is 43.5 times higher for developing a chronic subdural hematoma. According to a survey during the 2010 AANS meeting, 65% of respondents face dilemmas related to restarting anticoagulation in postoperative patients at least once a week or once a month. Additionally, over 40% of respondents believed that clinical judgment or intuition is the most important factor when pertaining anticoagulation restart. The present study was developed after the following question. Is there a safe period for anticoagulation withdrawal in postoperative period in patients requiring surgical treatment of a chronic subdural hematoma? We retrospectively reviewed a case series between 2015 and 2019 which included female and male adult patients with chronic subdural hematoma and concomitant anticoagulation requiring surgical treatment. The objectives of the study were to describe and quantify anticoagulant withdrawal time in patients requiring surgical treatment for chronic subdural hematomas and to evaluate rebleeding, complications, and mortality rate after anticoagulation withdrawal. A total of 31 patients were included in the analysis. Of them, 68% were male. The median age at diagnosis was 73 years. The median follow-up time was 5 months. The most frequently encountered anticoagulation indication was atrial fibrillation followed by DVT or PE. Four patients had mechanical heart valves. The most frequently used anticoagulant was vitamin K antagonist followed by heparin. Those patients taking vitamin K antagonists, the median pre-surgical INR was 2.62 and the median post-reversal INR was 1.31. Active anticoagulation reversal was performed in 20 patients. In those patients taking vitamin K antagonists, active anticoagulation reversal was performed in 15 patients. The most frequently used anticoagulation reversal medication was prothrombin complex concentrate, followed by fresh frozen plasma. Complications were identified in 12 patients. The most frequent one was urinary tract infection. No venous thromboembolic, cardioembolic events were identified. Rebleeding occurred in three patients. Three patients required a second intervention. The first patient presented rebleeding 70 days after the first surgery, which is the example on the CT scan below. On the left, the pre surgical CT scan. On the right, the CT scan before the second surgery. This patient had already restarted anticoagulation. The second patient had a superficial wound infection and the third patient had a new subdural hematoma. The last two patients had not restarted anticoagulation. Of the 31 patients included, a total of 14 patients restarted anticoagulation in the postoperative period. Of the 31 patients, three patients presented with rebleeding. Of the three patients who presented with rebleeding, one had restarted anticoagulation. Of all of them, two were taken direct oral anticoagulants and one was taken a vitamin K antagonist. In the example below, we see the CT scan of a patient who was taken a direct oral anticoagulant. In the left, we see bilateral subacute subdural hematomas, and on the right, the rebleeding presented as a left subdural subacute hematoma. The overall median time of anticoagulation withdrawal was 21 days and 18 days after surgery. According to Glasgow Outcome Scale, 80% of our patients had a favorable outcome. This includes patients with rebleeding and second surgery. Anticoagulation withdrawal and reinstitution 
depends on thromboembolic, cardioembolic, and bleeding risks per patient. Our data show a safe period of anticoagulation withdrawal of 21 days. However, no safe period can be stated by the characteristics of this study. Thank you very much.